Now, I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to sit around and watch footage that's all shaky like this, right? Thankfully, DaVinci Resolve has this covered. If you own one of the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema cameras, the 4K, the 6K, the 6K Pro, the 6K G2 that I just did a review on, this video is for you because you are going to be able to use something called gyro stabilization here in DaVinci Resolve. Let's jump back in the studio and uh, we're going to go check that out and I'll show you what it's all about. Yo, you guys didn't know about the secret passages into my studio, did you? Let's go. I'll see you down there. What's up guys, what's up? Love that secret passage there. That thing is fun, dude. I'll tell you what, it's a good time. All right, so let's jump right into Resolve here and we're gonna talk about the gyro stabilization. Now, if you have a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera, the 4K, the 6K, the 6K Pro, or the 6K G2, you're gonna have the option to be able to use the gyro stabilization. Now you do need to make sure that your software on your camera is up to date. So that way it'll appear here in Resolve when you load up your footage. Um, it's not backwards compatible as far as I know, but any current camera with current software on it, you should be good to go and should be able to use this gyro stabilization feature. So check it out in Resolve here. I'm gonna show you how to apply it to your clip. And then I'm just gonna run through a bunch of examples and have them play through the screen. Maybe I'll do half stabilized, half not stabilized. So you can see the difference between the two clips there. But let's just take a look at a clip here and get some stabilization on it. In order to find your stabilization, uh, bring your clip into DaVinci Resolve here. I've got a bunch of B-Raw clips in here. And here's the first one, right? So if I play through it, you can see it was handheld. It's a little shaky, right? And we're going to try and fix that up. So in order to do that, we're going to select our clip, open up our inspector in the top right-hand corner here. Oh, by the way, I am in the edit tab. So that's where, uh, where I'm doing the work here. And then if I scroll down in my inspector, come on down to stabilization, open that up. And if we click on our mode here, now we always have perspective, similarity, and translation. But now when you have your B-Raw or Blackmagic camera footage in here, you're going to have camera gyro as one of the options. So I can select that. And now notice most things get grayed out. The zoom stays checked. And we have a strength lever here, or not lever, strength slider. It's a slider. It's the slider. It's not a lever. Strength slider. I'm going to leave it at 100. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit stabilize. We're going to see how it does. All right, so that didn't take long at all. Let's see how it looks. Playing through the clip there. Does look pretty smooth. There's a little pan there that I was doing anyway. And there it goes, Gemma, my little pup running off the screen. So that works out pretty good. Now, if you did need to adjust it, let's say maybe it zoomed it in too much, you can come back to your strength. You can drop it back. Say I go to uh, 0.42, I'm going to hit stabilize again. And you can see it zooms out a little bit there. And if I play through the clip again, it stabilizes it a little bit, but not quite as much. Now, you might be thinking, well, how does that compare to the regular one? Well, if I just reset all this, let's say we were doing perspective and stabilizer, and I just left all these settings at the default. I'm going to go ahead and hit stabilize, let the resolve do its thing. All right, so the perspective is done there. Let's see how that looks. All right, I mean, that looks pretty good, too. And let's just go back and do the gyro one more time just to compare how that looks. And I'm going to change the strength to about 0.5 there. Uh, just so it's not zoomed in too much. And if we play through, here's what we got with the gyro, camera gyro stabilization. So I think the camera gyro does a little bit of a better job and it seems to have more uh, stabilization strength that it can use, right? By zooming in a little bit more or whatever. Now you might be able to adjust your settings there in, in the regular one as well, but the camera gyro does do a good job here. And there is that gyro that's inside those Blackmagic cameras that puts information inside the files as you're recording. So that way when you're in Resolve and you use this camera gyro uh, stabilization, it's going to have a little more information to help stabilize those clips for you. And let's just take another look at one more here. I'm filming a, a little uh, RC, uh, what is this, the uh, the X-Wing fighter here from Star Wars, right? Got one of these little guys, way fun to fly, by the way. So I'm going to select my clip, come into stabilization here. We're going to go camera gyro, and I'm just going to hit stabilize. And actually, you know what? Before I even do that, I should probably show you what it looks like before we stabilize it, right? So here's what the clip looks like before I stabilize it. Again, I'm handheld. You can see it's a little shaky, not too bad, right? But handheld. So now we're going to go ahead and hit stabilize on our camera gyro. Let Resolve do its thing. And here we go. This is what it looks like now. So I think the camera gyro there did a really good job keeping that X-Wing fighter stabilized. 
and uh, taking care of, you know, the little bit of shakes I had while I was trying to film with that camera. So that is the basics of how you're going to apply your gyro stabilization, similar to how you would any other stabilization, but you only get the option with your Blackmagic Design cameras. Now I got a bunch of examples here that I'm going to play through for you guys. You can check them out. I'm going to split the screen. You'll see half that is stabilized, half that is not stabilized. So that way you can see the difference there between the gyro stabilization and what it was like when I filmed it handheld because all these shots are handheld. So, um, you know, it's a little tough there sometimes when you're trying to get going. You need that stabilization to help you out, help you get a good shot. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. We'd love to hear what you think. And uh, by the way, if you didn't check out my Blackmagic Design Pocket Cinema 6K G2 review, check it out. I'll link it up here and drop a link somewhere else for you in the uh, description or maybe in a comment, pin a comment. So you can check that out if you're interested. Anyway, let's roll those clips. Check them out. Let me know what you guys think. With that said, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.